this is like I'm shook completely shook hi guys and welcome back to another video as you can tell by the title i am doing an aztec clay mask on my hair i am just adding the mask into a glass bowl um, just add whatever amount that you feel will be sufficient for your hair i have thick hair so i'm adding a lot then i go in with some apple cider vinegar and i'm not doing any specific measurements with this i'm just adding so i get the right consistency Also, when you're using this, make sure to use a plastic spoon and it specifies that on the back of the Aztec clay mask. I'm just adding a little more apple cider vinegar and I'm going to follow that up with some water to cut it just a little bit. So now we have it to the right consistency. I have um, freshly washed hair. Now after I filmed this video, I have researched and I realized you should do this on dirty hair but i was a little bit unsure so i went ahead and washed my hair but i didn't wash it well i just did like a simple rinse and i'm using water in a spray bottle to wet my hair make sure it's good and saturated and then i'm going to go ahead and go into applying the clay mask when applying it i am not applying it in any sort of rhyme or reason i'm just kind of putting it on there and raking it through with my fingers it wasn't really hard to get this through my hair but it was some parts that was tangling and if it does tangle you'll just see me kind of like separating my hair but i'm just sectioning my hair off and i'm putting the clay mask on no specific pattern or anything so you'll just watch me do this Okay guys, so like I was saying, since I already have this stuff all over my face anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and take the remainder of my mixture and put it on my face and also test this mask out as a face mask. So I just want to show you how much mix I have left. So technically just this little corner right here. I just got that much mix left, um, which I probably won't use that much on my face. I don't think I need that much, but this is kind of the consistency and it feels very smooth as a like to touch. Oh, I don't think I have to put it on this thick. So let me hold my hair back. We're going to come back um, with the results. I'm probably going to end up rinsing the mask off my face before I rinse the um, mask off my hair because it did say something about 5 to 10 minutes, I believe. So for delicate skin, leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes, which I'm going to go with the, the lesser. I'm not doing 15 minutes of this on my face because like I just said, I have eczema. And I don't need this mask drying out, messing my face up, giving me all these dry patches. 
So I'm going to leave this on for five to 10 minutes. I'm going to rinse the mask off and then I'm going to leave the hair mask on for about 30 minutes or so. And while I'm doing that, I need to clean up some of this mess because I made a mess. But um, I'll be back with the results. OMG, I am shook. I had to come on here quickly to show y'all how much these curls is popping. I was finna go put some oil on my face. Cause I mean, this is kind of how my face is looking after the mask. But these curls though, uh, OMG. OMG. I've never seen my curls. When I say never, never seen my curls look like this after washing it. With no product, just water. Oh, never. It seemed like some of it may ooh, some may still be stuck in my hair. Might need to do one more rinse, but when I say I am shook at these, let me show y'all that. When I, like I knew that this was gonna be something different when I was washing my hair, and I could, and I could feel the curls in my hair. Like, oh, do y'all, do y'all see these curls? I'm sure that this is was what I was feeling like. I'm washing my hair and I feel so much texture in my fingers. So I'm thinking, I'm like, wait, is this, are these curls? Are, are these curls? Girl, this has been the best thing. So when I come back, I'm going to go ahead and put some rose hip oil on my face. And I'm going to come back and, with, and tell y'all my final thoughts. But... Okay guys, so now that I am back, I have um, went and put some rose hip seed oil on my face because as you seen in that last clip, when I was talking about um, my curls, my face was looking real dry, real crusty. And let me tell y'all, rose hip seed oil has been the goat for me lately. I really, really, really need to do an updated favorites, which probably will be one of my next few videos because... Bam, here's another one of my favorites. These body armor drinks are delicious. So, enough of that. I'm rambling. I'm going off on a tangent. I put the rose hip seed oil on my face because it was very dry. But if you can tell how red my face is, I believe this is the redness that most people spoke about when using the mask. Um, I heard a few reviews saying that your skin can be like really red for like 30 minutes. Or so but it should go down but my curls my curls my curls y'all let me get into these curls because I am so shook I've never ever 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 seen my curls look this defined straight out of water like nothing on it nothing on my hair Never, unheard of, never seen my curls look like this. Never gotten this type of results on dry. Like my dry curls don't look like this. I don't have dry curls. My dry hair is an afro. So for me to have some sort of definition like I am having, I'm telling y'all, this is amazing. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna try. I'm feeling real bold. Like I, I think, I think I'm going to try washing up tomorrow. If I do, I'll go ahead and film it for you guys, but I'm feeling real bold right now. I'm not going to keep talking about these. Y'all probably like, what curl be? Like, ain't no curl. But, you know, seriously. Um, I'm really excited about this. Like, my hair has never been this type of moisture. Um, this type of define. So, what I'm about to do is just moisturize four sections, and I'm going to um, put four big giant bantu knots in my hair, and then in the morning, 
I'm gonna put four big giant bantu knots in my hair and then in the morning I'm going to possibly attempt the wash and go possibly if I do like I said I will definitely film it for you guys and show you guys um you know I'm just very shook right now shook isn't the word so I'm putting some extra moisture in my hair with this leave-in Carol's daughter I'm not going to go crazy with it because, like I said, it's possible I'm going to attempt the wash and go tomorrow. So, far as I know, I'm no natural hair expert. But what I've been learning is that when you want to do a wash and go, you do not want a bunch of product on your hair. Because you'll have like a lot of product buildup. So, we're not going to go that route. We're going to go for a successful wash and go. But I don't know. I might just be feeling a lot like a lot a lot of confidence right now, you know what I'm saying? Because it is these curls and how they came out. But who knows? We gonna see. Um tomorrow when I wake up. We're gonna see if I still feel confident enough. To try a wash and go. But at this moment. The way my hair came out. Out of that wash. After that last wash. Um, a wash and go ain't sounding too bad. For your girl. Finish off here. Because my camera. My battery is about to die. And my camera keep cutting off. But we're going to see. If I do a wash and go tomorrow. Like I said. If I do. I will definitely be filming, filming it for you guys. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next upcoming video. <laughs> this, the, this the people um, emptying our church sound like a dang bomb dropped. But anyways, y'all, my bed about to die. I cannot keep rambling. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.